If you'd like to have a website for your class, a wiki is a good way to go, and Google Sites is a good wiki. If you've already got a Google account, you can use that to sign up for Sites, and that'll give you all the other Google tools, or you can just sign straight up for Sites, and it'll give you options about starting your site. The first thing you need to do is give it a simple name uh, with no spaces. Go through the other options. An important one to pay attention to is the appearance, but just grab one of the templates. You can always come back and alter it later on if you want to. The default setting is that everybody in the world can have a look at your wiki. I suggest you leave it like that to begin with and then you fill out the little anti-robot thing and create your site. Then you go to your nice looking site and change the name which is just the site name. More actions is a menu you'll use quite a bit. Go to manage the site. Then in the general section, this is just for the home page, it shows the name you've given the site. You can now change that to a little bit more user-friendly name that appears at the top of your home page. You can make many sites. This is just your first one. Don't forget to click Save Changes and now we can get into the business of editing and the most important basic feature of a wiki is that there is a very prominent Edit Page button that's always available. So once you go into Edit Mode you get to see this menu of simple tools. An early thing to do on a page is to set up one of the templates. There's not many options in design for wikis but they're meant to be simple and easy to use. You can then use all the common editing tools to add text and so on. One of the most common things you want to do is to insert images which is what makes websites very attractive. So you go to insert then browse and find the image that you've already saved on your desktop and then load it in and when it appears on the page you can then change its formatting a little bit. There's a little menu appears uh, once it's clicked on and you can get the text here to wrap around the image which makes it look a lot more attractive and then don't forget to save. When you have a number of sites you can go to the My Sites tab on your home page and you can then see all the other sites you've got and you can create new ones. An important thing to manage your site is the menu that's generally on the left but it can be elsewhere. Down the bottom of the menu is the Edit Sidebar button. So you hit that and then that takes you here where you go to Navigate and Edit again. Here you can add or delete pages or reorder them on the menu. You can indent and reorder pages and you have to create the page before you can add it to the menu. When you create a new page it can be just an ordinary web page or it can be one of these specialised functions. One of them is Filing Cabinet which is a easy way of storing a lot of files like student assignments for example. Another is uh, Lists which is like a baby database and it puts events in order and a bunch of people can all work on the same page. You can easily link to Google's Picasa web albums where I've got some photos and some slideshows so I can then just find the one I want to include into my uh, history page. There's this little collection of four. Copy the address uh, in Picasa of the album. Go back to insert when I'm in edit mode and then from insert I select Picasa web slideshow and then paste the address in and off you go. We can then see the slideshow, save the page and then view the slideshow and it makes it a very attractive and uh, effective way of telling a story either by students or by a teacher. All the Google tools work together very smoothly. This includes embedding YouTube videos in your web page so students can access the thousands of videos on YouTube or they can make their own and post it to YouTube. We've just seen the simplicity of a wiki but its really big advantage like the Wikipedia is that it's a collaborative site so that people can be given access to edit or to view as you like. So you go to more actions and then find the sharing link down the bottom and there you can paste the email addresses of people who are given rights to be collaborators or simply viewers. And you can turn off access to everybody else. With a number of people editing a page it's very valuable to have this last wiki feature which is revision history. So you can see all the old versions of a page and you can revert the page to previous versions and recover from editing disasters. 
By the way, you might have noticed the class calendar can be imported from Google Calendar. A wiki like Google Sites is very good for student and teacher publishing, collaboration and class management.